in terms of position because of common sense. There are too many ways in and out. So they will often push people off public streets, especially out of intersections, and into other areas. And that's what you see happening right now. Uh, now, remember what I told you when I came back from break, that this had been bad. As I hope you know, I am not in the hype business. I'm going to tell you what happens. And when I say an officer got beat, I mean it. Okay, I'm not trying to provoke a situation. Here it is. This is from moments before I came back on air. Please pick up the uh, video. All right, now, you see the officer. He had his hands on somebody. That white guy runs up, gets, his, gets him in a choke, pulls him off. Somebody pulls him off. He goes away. The officer is still on the back of this guy that he obviously wants to detain. Other people are coming out and attacking the officer. You're going to see it. You see the kicks. You see them coming from behind. He still has his hands on the guy in the hoodie. That person pulls that traffic. They're afraid. They don't want to be part of this melee. You see people, they're, say, they're going to say they're trying to pull the officer off. And you see the guy in the yellow, but they're beating the officer. All right? Make no mistake. And this is the civilian, I believe, that I was telling you about in the hat. Comes out, is trying to keep the officer safe. The officer's getting pissed off, understandably, and now he's going to walk away. Okay? Now they walk off. Then you see them walking off the right upper side of your screen. That's when these officers started to create a position of strength and start pushing them out of the intersection. All right? So that is the situation that I described. It is not unique in this country. 